Nelson Mandela is a Marxist. He wrote the book How to Be a Good Communist, which was entered into testimony at his trial. The man is a humanist on every level. He has pushed through the legalization of abortion, pornography, homosexual relationships. He put into the constitution uh, protection for sexual preferences. Uh, the first constitution in the world, I believe, to actually, in the constitution itself, entrench uh, privileges for perverts. Uh, Nelson Mandela has put forward so many things trying to legalize prostitution. Other, he's a radical liberal uh, and uh, a humanist of note. And we've challenged him, and I spent an hour discussing these very matters with him uh, w when he was president, and he summoned me uh, to his home because I just marched 30,000 people outside his offices to protest his pagan policies. So I'm astounded that so many in the West idolize Nelson Mandela and lift him up as a messianic figure because they obviously don't know what he teaches, what he believes, or what he does, or his support for some of the most radical Marxist dictatorships on the planet with some of the worst human rights records, such as the governments of Red China and Cuba. And he has supported these dictators wholeheartedly and received them to South Africa with the greatest honors. And Clint Eastwood's latest film, Invictus, which does more of this distortion of history and rewriting of reality, uh, this has not helped either. There's a lot of Christians out there who idolize Nelson Mandela just because they've only been given false, misleading and incomplete information. Clint Eastwood is obviously a very good director, but uh, he chose the wrong story. He did a good propaganda piece, but, you know, uh, um, Lenny Revenstahl, she did an excellent job with uh, Triumph of the Will on Adolf Hitler too. You know, uh, to ad admire the technical brilliance of a production isn't to say you agree with That's the right. philosophy behind it. Uh, it was a well-made film, but it was such propaganda.